Welcome back everybody, this is Alon Paul, and we're going to hopefully complete the Blighted Expedition in this next run. Hopefully we can keep it under an hour. As you've seen by my other videos, not so hopeful, but we'll see what happens. Um, so we've got just a little ways to go. Um, let's see, so we're in Phase 3. I forgot to do the depths, so I'm going to go ahead and do the depths real quick. We're going to have to get some crystallized sulfide order to produce what we're looking for. Okay, need a planet with water? Real quick, I think it's on the other side of that guy. Hmm. 2100, huh? Is it over here? Let's see. No, that wasn't right. Sub-Zero planet? That's where we came from, right? Yeah, why not? Let's just go. Activated copper. Yeah, I remember this. And then the other part of it was to acquire an aquatic treasure. So we have a couple different things to do in this very frigid water. So we're going to go ahead and get that taken care of now. And how's my launch thrusters look? Good. Got something I want to do there. I'm just preparing ahead of time. So, got some scanners I should be putting in there. A combat scanner and an economy scanner. Yeah, let's get out of this view. Get through the cloud, see if we can find some water. We're especially wanting a, an ocean, if we can find it. Let's get to the watery side of the planet. The watery side? How about the sunny side of the planet? Let's go over here. Okay. Take another look from this direction. Okay. Looks like we've got ocean right here. Okay. Set down. Well, I like to think it was ocean, but I don't know. It's looking more like land to me. Ugh. Seriously? Alright. So apparently I went in the wrong direction. Yay! More wasted time. in this direction for now. That's the cabled planet. Okay. And then there's this one. That's the planet we wanted. It says rocky, but we got a little ways to go. So I'm going to pause the video while we get over there. It's going to take us a good couple minutes to get there. And I'll pick it up as soon as we get there. And we're back, and here we are landing on the planet. You notice we're heading straight for an ocean. Because it wants us to reach a depth of 60, so we're going to need something that's extra, extra deep. And these oceans are never completely and utterly clear. There will always be a platform or a small little islet or something like that for you to land on. Like this one, right here. Perfectly round. Like someone used a cookie cutter on it. I don't think it's odd, do you? All right. Real quick. Is this the planet I think it is? I have never just been to this planet. Okay. And we're down. So first thing we need is we need some crystal sulfide. Let's see. Got clams. Uh, Bissell horror. That's fantastic. I need one of those, right? Submerged relics. Uh, Okay.
Let's get back to the surface for now. Huge planet. I can't find... Well, in all this water, I can't find a crystal sulfide plant. I'll just go ahead and find them for now. like it. Just not picking it up. There it is, finally. Good gravy. Yeah, I say that a lot. It's better than saying something else, right? That should be enough. Okay. So, we need to get to a depth of 60. You notice that our depth is at 30 right now. Uh, yeah, see these creatures attack. See these guys? They attack. Metal plates and salt. Which is on my ship. Alright. Funny thing is, I don't even need to do it in my ship. The thing is, is I gotta find the treasure. To find the treasure, I need to get to a depth. And use the sonar on the ship in order to find the sunken treasure. So, see if we can get there a little bit quicker. Firestorm. Yeah, we need that. Okay. Let's make the five metal plates. Okay. Can we make it now? Yes, we can. And see, remember I left it on the other planet? Need to summon it. There we go. So where is it? High power sonar. We're looking for... Sunken buildings? or submerged ruins. We want ruins. There they are. It says 10 minutes, but we're not going to be here that long. Where'd my... Uh... It's over here. Okay. There we go. We're all set. And we're on our way. Okay. So we need to get to a depth of 60. So we're going to keep an eye on the right-hand side and see how deep we can go. Hopefully we'll get some nice deaths, because the ocean's about the only place we're going to find it. 40, 42. There we go. Didn't think we were down that low. There, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. So, let's go up. Like that. Now, it's a little ways to get there, so what I'm going to do is just get up to the surface here and see if we can't find ourselves an 
island along the way. This guy's actually going at a pretty good pace. Not bad. If I can find a little island to, to get in the way, then I can call my ship to me and we can get there a little bit faster. So, rather than leaving you sitting here waiting for me to get someplace that's going to take me eight more minutes, I'm going to pause here. We'll come back in just a moment. And we're back, and we have found ourselves a little island to land on. I grabbed my ship. We're on our way. As you see, we've reduced our time from about 10 minutes to about 20 seconds. Because we can get there a lot faster this way. So hopefully, this should do it. Alright, so it should be in this general area. It should be right there, and there happens to be an island right next to it. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Come on, bring it down. Okay, down we go. Switching over to Terrain Manipulator. Alright. Surface ignoring your ladder is lingered before I reach an altar. Flows closer, the water rushing about me, demanding, I, demanding that I listen to its tail. Except the waves. I went down to the beach today. There's something about the sea of this time of year. It draws you in, distorts your sense of time. Salty frost on the stubby grass. The sand blowing off the tops of the dunes. No one else for miles. Um, did I slip into the wrong game? Is this a, uh, romance novel? People love the sound of waves, but it takes gray skies and high winds to really feel it. To understand their never-ending crash, the drum they beat upon the land. It makes me shiver. Leave. Pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides. As the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key. Perfect, despite its age. Now, if I remember correctly... We need a living pearl. So it was a great idea that I sold them all off, huh? There we go. There's one there. Anything closer? That's closer. Over to mining beam. Okay. It must be under me. Okay, so I'm going to have to go up for a second. Let my air re regenerate because I don't have the aqua lung. Four, five. Okay, straight down. Ah. Okay, back the way we came. All right. surface okay okay so here we go we'll get that reward in a minute don't worry down we go now we want to do that sealed sea chest that's what we need go. As you can see, pearl, key. We got a relic, and there's our other. Alright, good deal. And we have completed phase three. So like I said, I knew it wasn't going to take time to complete the phase. And 
We're 15 minutes into this episode. We've already got phase three done. Phase four shouldn't take long to get done either. Okay. Get in the ship. All right. Eh, leave it. That's fine. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. I don't think we're using it again. What's that? Three ex exoshoot. Okay, good. So we'll be selling those off. It's only half mil, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get our rewards. Uh, okay, diving kit. Man, that would have been great. Standing increased and explorer's guild. Okay, great. Yeah, the underwater protection modules would have been nice, but you know, we don't need them, so we're probably going to sell them off. In case we need them again. Nine, ten. Nice, eight. That's pretty good. Let's get the other one. Uh, band life support upgrade. That's pretty good. If not a guy, eh, okay. We might need it. I may hang on to that. Let's grab it. Okay. We got two of them. Okay. Get the other one. Nice. What do we get out of that? Not much. Not much at all. So I don't know if it's even worth it. Yeah, put it over here. Okay. All right. Well, that's a start anyway. Oh, that's right. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, whatever. It works. Uh, let's get the last one, which gets us our flag plans all across the board. Okay, so phase three is now complete. So where are we going? On to phase four. We're going to reach the fourth rendezvous. Uh, we've got to visit a blue star, and we've got to follow the pirate map. I will not be here long enough to enjoy that. Thank you. Keep your firestorm to yourself. Okay. Fourth rendezvous. Here we come. Uh, who needs charge? You do. Let's charge you up. And we're on our way. Now, we never did get the upgrade, but that's okay. We need to visit a blue star at some point along the way. Let's take a look around. Oh, my gosh. I got a long ways to go. Too bad I couldn't upgrade my hyperdrive, huh? What we may do is we may actually jump elsewhere. Hmm. Looks like we visited that land before. Yeah, we have because of that. Okay. Let's go ahead and go here. Though this one may look better. Let's go to the Gex system. So we're going to go off track here a little bit, because we're looking for stuff. We obviously need to get a hyperdrive unit, something much, much bigger. This is getting ridiculous. I can't drop, drop, uh, jump 100 light years at a time, because it's going to take forever to get to this last rendezvous. Fourth rendezvous. Oh, do I? No. Okay. Come on. And there we go. Let's get to the space station. We're going to sell some stuff. We're going to see what upgrades they have. All right. Almost 20. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm keeping track of the time this time. Much, much carefully. Much more carefully? Much more carefully keeping track of the time. See what we got. Sell. So. Okay, good. I think we have. Hey. My bad. Phase beam. Hyperdrive. Excellent. We got an A class one, too. I think I'm going to take it, too, just because. All right. 
Starship only has two spots available. So we're going to have to move some sh or shuffle some stuff around. All right. Here's my hyperdrive unit. Let's do this. Okay, how much is that going to give us? We have 347 range now. Let's go to the next one. That gives us another 176. So we're up to 533 hyperdrive range. All right, that should get us where we need to go. All right, we have some upgrades, do we not? We have three exosuit upgrades. Okay, let's do it. Over here. We'll get the one here, and we'll get three more. Uh, yeah, let's put it here. There we go. Okay, good deal. And let's see. We're going to hang on to the hypnotic eye. This just, I don't know why we got it, but for some reason I have a feeling we're going to need it. Uh, we got plenty of cargo space, so I really don't need to sell anything right now. Let's go ahead and get a move on. Um, where did I park? There we go. Alright, that was a good stop. And here we go. Back on track. Okay. See Expedition? You see? Now we're going to get there a lot quicker. Much better. One jump. Rather than ten. Okay. So we got to get the fourth one. Then we got to go to a blue system. We should be getting another space battle soon. Doesn't look like we have one yet. Okay. Always go to the space station first. Want to establish a base, if you will. So if you can... There we go. All right. Now, we can't really add anything to our ship. We're maxed out. Suit, we got enough to go by, but it would be great if I could get some better jetpack upgrades. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, we'll figure this out in a second. This will give us one more exosuit spot, and we'll get us, hopefully, maybe we get a movement upgrade. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to put you down here. I like to even it out. I'm sorry. I'm a little OCD about that, too. Uh, shield, thermal, toxic thermal shield, movement on a B-class. Eh, it's not really worth my time. Okay. we got nothing we can get for the ship. Multi-tool. How does it look? Wouldn't mind getting a better upgrade for the for this unit here. Nice. Pepto-Bismol pink. Just what I like to see in a in a multi-tool. Scatterblaster. Go <laughs> figure. Okay, let's see what we got with it. Plus three damage. Ninety-eight twenty-three. So we're a little higher on the damage ratio. Hmm. 
Really does make a difference, doesn't it? Fascinating. Anyway, moving on. Let's get out of here. Hmm, cute little ship. On to the rendezvous. Twenty-five minutes, and we will. And we're twenty-five minutes in. We've hit. We'll be hitting the fourth rendezvous here in just a minute. Moon of unknown planet. Love moons. Up. Oh, that looks like it might be it right there. There we go. Good deal. Rendezvous here. Yay! Okay. Come on. Come on. Let the reward. Uh, more gold. More expansion unit. And standing increased. And we'll let it talk to itself for a second. So our next one is we've got to visit a blue star and then follow the pirate map. Let's go find ourselves a blue star, shall we? Yep, up to quite a bit of gold in there. Off we go. So, now, let's find ourselves a blue star. Blue stars are a little harder to find sometimes. I don't know, maybe it's just my eyes. Because, you know, that one looks like a red one. Uh, let's see. It's this way that we go to the next... Huh. That looks like a red star to me. That looks like yellow. That looks like blue. Let's go ahead and go there. Alright. Like I said, we got a, we got a battle coming up soon. I just haven't seen one yet. Wait. There it is. Okay, so we got that now. We don't need the indium. Uh, void egg. Huh. Storage augmentation 2. Okay, so we got two more sh uh, slots available on our ship. We use some of the Blight's pirate and use tab to access your inventory. Okay. What's this? Well, we have no room to put you up there, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Pirate map now. Okay, plot route to treasure. I'm going to do E. Okay. Is it in the system we're in? Sure enough. Well, I'll be. Hello. Oh, for crying out loud. That's because of the void egg. I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with that. I'm going to have to put it on my freighter, I guess. Or else they're going to keep bugging me. I don't mind the, the void eggs and the living ships, trust me. But they're definitely not my favorites. Approximate location. Now, of course, we're at a system that nobody else has been to, so... Uh, I could be wrong. Son of a gun. Somebody else has already been here, huh? Looks like it's a portal. Well, we're going to have to honor these guys. We are definitely going to have to honor them. I need some more... Ferrite, pure ferrite. Got plenty of magnetized. Why do I need the magnetized, uh, pure ferrite? You're going to see in just a minute. If you already don't know, then you don't know. You'll find out. Uh, let me 
see here. Blue and yellow. <laughs> Shameless plug. Okay. Let's find out what this is about. Wind howls through the portal opening. It lifts engraved upon the pedestal of ancient, but someone hasn't tampered with this historic structure. A cheap and made screen protrudes from the stone. A clumsy fusion of new technology and old. We're going to touch the screen. Welcome, pirate recruit. Please select option. Let's activate the portal. I don't care about the destination. I know where we're going. Going to another pirate world. Whoa. That was kind of abrupt. Ready, folks? Plunge our way through. It's kind of creepy in a way. Kind of like it. So we're 30 minutes in. We're done with three phases. We're almost done with the fourth phase. This is the last of the fourth, last of phase four, and all we have left after this is phase five. So let's see how, see where we end up. Eventually. Maybe I should put more quarters in the slot. I don't know. Holy mackerel! It's a planet of communication devices. Choose our color. We do the same thing, another shameless plug. I hope this will work. Excellent. All right, and my ship is floating over here. Looks like a nice little planet, though. Where to? So, did we complete it? Is phase four done? I followed the pirate map. We reached the fifth rendezvous. I haven't followed the pirate map. Okay. Alright, we got it. So, head over here. Let's go up a little higher. She's still a horse. Uh, okay. Good for you. On our way. Ah, okay, it was on another planet. Um, wow, communication stations, that's nice. Approximate location, rendezvous five, there we go. Gave us that, finally. Where? Oh, that might be it. I think. Wait till it comes down. We're in a very unusual planet. This way. All right. But you know what? While we're here, do you know what I'm thinking? I think we ought to check out this uh, building here. And, uh, you know, maybe... Oh, okay. It's one of those buildings. It is a transmission tower. I don't know. 
There we go. One and one. Just wanted to get that. Okay, let's see if this one will still operate. Well, I'll be darned. It's still there. Wonder where it is. Hmm. We'll check that out after a moment. And if it's really worth our time. All right. Okay. So we gotta get the treasure out of there. Alright, I know how to do this job. So there's the main treasure chest, but we gotta get three keys to get to it. Here's one. This one's easy, folks. To find the three keys, it's very simple. One's right here. Okay. Second one is inside this building. There's actually a bunch of them down here if you want to go through all the chests, but these are the three easiest ones. That's two. And just when you think that it's down straight down here, it's not. It's this way. Just look for the pathway. See? And there's your third key. Easiest way to do it. Drop down. Open it. Three keys. Done. Done this so many times, it's almost uh, like the back of your hand. Opening chest is momentarily blinding as the light glitters off the contents within. This is indeed a significant treasure cache stacked with physical, untraceable precious metals. Reclaim the treasure. As I lift the cargo into my pack, a garbled transmission reaches my exosuit, though I see no mechanism in this dusty chest to prompt it. Depositing cash here while heading to the intergalactic tunnel will return to retrieve a lusher reality. It appears this cache was intended to be smuggled across galactic borders, but for some reason no one ever returned to retrieve it. It's very satisfying to take this treasure from the Blight. Just beyond this system, the next galaxy awaits. Wow. Activated Cadmium, Admiral, and Indium. Wow. Okay. 8,000 activated Indium? Good gravy. Alright, so we collect our reward. We get all 16 glyphs. That is really, really good. Okay. What else? Collect the reward. Wayward cube plans. Yeah, that's a pretty cool device to have in your house. In your in your settlement, wherever you happen to be. That's pretty cool. It floats around. It's pretty neat. Phase five. We have to appro approach the galactic core. So we must be really close to the core. We've recruited a squadron pirate. We've got two more pirates to shoot down before we leave the galaxy and establish a new foothold. Let's bring it in. There she is. We're going to check out the ship real quick. Not bad. I think we're going to complete this real fast. Now, how do we get to shoot down two pirates? What we're going to do is we're going to check the missions on the space station. And we're going to see if those missions happen to have anything in regards to taking out some pirates. And that's all we have to do. We're done. Eh. This is a moon. Everything's so much closer on a moon. Let's just see if it's a halfway decent ship. And we won't be able to trade out, but be kind of nice. Ah, uh, hauler. I sense storage augmentations in my future. K-1 
Okay. Distress beacon, blah, blah, blah. The usual crap that you find when you get there. Uh, let's go functioning technology. Plasma launcher. Very nice. Could use one of those, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, can we get in the ship? Thank you. Uh, what do we got? Same usual crap. It's a C-class. Yeah, we'll get a couple mil. Million and a half, something like that. Let's claim it. Let's go in here. We're going to build that. Oh, do we need that? That's not what we need. Heretic seal. Yes, we did need it. The hydrogen jelly. And... Hold on. Pure ferrite, right? I need a little bit more. Get all these. Done. Okay. Anything on board we want to get rid of? Ooh, that's nice. I'm going to store that in my inventory and add it to my own ship later. Yep, that's not going where it belongs. Good. Anything else? Okay. Nothing else of note. Let's get on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Actually, not a bad looking uh, baller. Kind of like the arrangement. It's pretty cool. Man, it's sluggish. really isn't that bad looking, man. I kind of like those side jobs on it. I'm not much into haulers, you know, but she ain't bad looking. I have to remember this design. So we're going to get a couple upgrades for the ship, so that way I can actually fit some more crap on it. There we go. Sorry about all the noise. How's my inventory look? I don't know why I went to the multi-tool. Put you over there. Yeah, I got plenty of plenty of inventory space. Start here. Uh, claim scrap. Yeah, 1.8 mil. That's not bad. Okay. Sell. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep that. I sell that and sell that. I'm going to upgrade my exosuit down there. Do we have any more? Yes, we had some more. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, good deal. Back to this ship. Upgrade. Apply augmentation. We're going up here. Okay, we got two more. Really? We don't have any more? Ah, I really thought we had more. Okay. Okay, good. Put that in there. Uh, there we go. That should get a shield strength up a little bit higher, so we're in good, better condition now than we were before. Okay, good deal. Let's... Do we need to get rid of anything? Hyperdrive module. Let me see how much it was. Yeah, not worth it. Okay. Really like to call in the freighter and get rid of that thing out of my inventory. Do we have any other upgrades? Okay, we just need to sell some stuff. Go back to here. We gotta shoot down some pirates. Is that here? No, it's across the way. Let's sell the crap in our inventory. Oh my god, really? B class and a C class. Uh, we're gonna take a look, folks. It's 7 mil. How's it look in front? Ah, it's one of those. Okay. 
It's a good looking ship. Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely good looking. Alright. Let's shoot down some pirates. Let's see what we can get. Uh, hunt low level pirates. Look at that. Okay. So to do it. On we go. Right there. Should be good. I like this kind of fighting. Yeah, missed him. We'll finish him out. Just because we like to do it. Okay, done. So we're going to do our due diligence. We're going to head back to the space station. Just to do the right thing. Alright, so that was completed rather quickly. So there you go. Go to the system. Check out the mission agents. Find a mission for shooting down pirates. And let's go ahead and collect the reward. Defense chit and comet rock droplets. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. Uh, I'm going to put that in my ship. I'm going to put that over there, too. What do we want to sell? Get, let's get rid of the repair kit. I don't think we need it. I don't think we're going to need the hypnotic eye now. Oh, it's kind of magical. I'll go ahead and throw that in there. I don't know what it does, but... Whoa! Good gravy. That's a powerful unit. Okay. Uh... I think. Well, we could have used those later. That's not important right now. Okay. We're fine. Go to the mission agent. Just finish this out real fast. Okay. We're done. Yeah, I don't really need that. So. Comet droplets. Uh, repair kit. Uh, let's see. Second circuitry, spinning, uh, subatomic, sulfurous defense chits. I really don't need them. I, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I don't really need it. Okay. Good deal. I don't think there's anything in the shark starship. We're going to get rid of the hard frame engine. We don't really need it. And I got a funny feeling we're not going to need the walker brains very much longer. Or the hydrothermal fuel cells. I'm actually going to get rid of the Void Egg at this point because I don't need it. Not for what we're doing right now. So that's a good thing. If you want to turn this off over into a new a normal save, you get a Void Egg right at the front. And that's, gosh, what do those things cost? 3,000 Quicksilver? So that's like a good week worth of uh, uh, doing missions on the Anomaly to get one of those Void Eggs. So it's a really a good find if that's what you want to do. I've got my regular save that's out there that I've already got a living ship on, so I don't really need it. All right, so let's check out our phases. We got to leave the galaxy. So you know what that means? That means heading to the galaxy center. Now, your your the weird thing about this is is that your hyperdrive has to be fully charged. 
that's not enough. So we're going to go ahead and use our last warp hypercore to charge it up to maximum. So you have to be at maximum in order to get out of the galaxy. You'll notice that we're at the edge. You see? There's the center. Okay? So what I recommend doing is you want to stay focused on this and keep turning that until you get it so that it's selecting a star and you just keep going up until it goes all the way around and keep it held until it does this uh, this is always a beautiful look I love the the view on this yeah you, I promise you I'm gonna get a shot of this later for my video and I'm gonna be using it definitely gonna be using this this is gonna be my thumbnail for this video ladies and gentlemen we are at 51 minutes into this last run we completed phase three we completed phase four and we're about to complete phase five i really thought we were going to have to go another video in order to complete all the, all the phases but it looks like we're going to be able to, to do it in four videos so not bad not bad a uh, little difficulty there in the middle as you know uh, we have that one problem trying to get um the hyperdrive for our freighter but obviously that wasn't the case here so so this is what happens if you actually take the normal run and you go to the center of the galaxy it brings you to a new galaxy and you can keep doing that you take that galaxy go all the way to the center of that one and you can go to the next galaxy and then the next one and the next one so if you can get it get a the opportunity to go to the Eisentim galaxy I think that's how you pronounce it that's how I pronounce it other people say it differently but Eisentim galaxy it's a very peaceful galaxy a lot of paradise planets lots and lots of paradise planets so oh that was beautiful this is a whole new rendition that they've done for this this is absolutely gorgeous I have never been to this galaxy before I can pop Wow that is beautiful uh, well done hello games well done nice transition really impressive this will probably be the screenshot I'll use people wonder why we keep playing this game after six years it's absolutely fascinating yeah I won't be doing that nice so that's the achievement Radioactive humidity. Eh, I mean, not the best planet in the world. Alright. So, let's check our systems. Nothing damaged. Doesn't look like there's anything damaged on my ship either. And the ship is right there. I'm going to definitely build this right now. We're going to do uh, my usual colors. Oh, crap. It never told me it ran out. At least I didn't notice it. How's it? Hey. Okay, great. 
Ugh. Thanks. That was a bit of a backfire. Okay, good deal. I don't think we need any of this. I'm just going to do it out of habit. Let's get our... Collect our reward. What do we get? A base computer. Congratulations, folks. We just need to establish a base. We're not going to do it right here. That would be rude. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and exit. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh. You had to do that mission again. Yeah. Okay. So, what do we got here? Let's check out the planets. And we are going to pick a nice planet real fast. Radioactive? That sounds lovely. Paradise planet. That's probably where we're going to be headed. What's this one? Overgrown. Aggressive Sentinels. That looks like fun. It's as... F no. No. No, it's not. It's not fun. No. We're not going there. We're going to go all the way over there. And we're going to hit the Paradise Planet. We're going to drop a base computer down. Probably never going to come back to this uh, this playthrough ever again. But a lot of fun. A lot of fun. One of my favorites, really, to, to go through uh, in this system. Um, so really, really enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed this run through as well. We are literally three minutes from an hour. 57 minute mark on this run through on this particular video and we are about to complete the entire expedition here in just a moment 1500 clicks to go I mean I could have just dropped a base computer down right there but come on you got a system with a paradise planet gotta do it Now, the other playthrough I'm going through on my own, I will probably complete. Because, um, like I said, I ended up with an S-Class uh, freighter on that one. Uh, I will probably start making some extra cash, and I'll get myself a solar ship on it. And I might do some stuff on it. Who knows? I might uh, show it off one day. We'll see. Ah, uh, that's that's lovely. Look, look at this. The rings. Come on. Let's get better than that, people. Come on. All right. We're going to go right about there. Doesn't look like there's anybody there yet. We're not going to do much of a base here, so... Now, I have an interesting way of doing things. I try to look for... Some place to land that isn't that or that. That would work. Archives? Good grief, there's a lot of stuff on this planet. Yeah, let's go to the archive. That'll be fine. Well, land on an outer platform. And that looks like a wonderful cave to put a base computer inside of. I like it. Look at this. Come on. That is just too cool. Let's do it. Base computer, here we go. And I have no chromatic metal because it's all sitting over there. Trying not to blow a gasket. Is that thing okay oh, great big huge fleas just what we need 
All right, base computer is getting put down right here. Watton's colony. Naming the base. We have now established a base, people. And that is at exactly one hour and 22 minutes into this video. Where's my achievement? Oh, that's right. I forgot. We have to actually establish a base. Let's put up some walls. Why not? Come on. We'll get the achievement here in a moment. There it is. Establish the base and expedition number six, phase five, is complete, which means, in turn, the entire expedition is now complete. We get the outlaw cape, 1800 quicksilver, and everything's done. Congratulations. So this is what happens. We collect our reward. We get salvage data times 16, construction research unit plans. So now we can put a construction research unit on our base and start really moving it along. We're also going to get banners. We get the title, Hunter of the Blight. Excellent, excellent. And finally, and last but not least, all five phases, you get the Outlaw Cake customization and the Quicksilver. So we're all done. And it says the expedition's over. Can I accept that it's moving over to a normal save? And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the expedition is complete. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I had a really great time, and I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Thank you very much. We'll see you again on the other side.